Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Brand America and thanks for tuning in to another logic lesson And if you guys caught my last video, I was basically showing you guys how you can use Multiple recording takes of your vocals and take the best pieces say out of take one two and three and put them together and Comp it to make a master take. That's what all the pros do and that's what I'm sure you're trying to do, too so today though what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about uh, flex pitch and flex pitch, what it does is it allows you to check your vocals and make sure that they're actually in the key of the song. In my case today, if you look up here towards the top, you'll see that my song is in A major. That's the key signature or, or part of the key signature. And what we want to do uh, in order to check this out is we want to select the vocal um, that we want to use and we're going to double click on it. Well, when we do that, it opens up the vocal down here in another window. And this allows us to edit things differently than we would up here in the arrangement window. So first what we want to do is scroll over here to the top left area of this window that just popped up. And you want to click on this little button that looks like a bow tie. Now what happens is that activates the flex pitch and the flex time and all that. And the reason it says flex time slicing is just because that's a default setting. Now what this will allow me to do is go in there and shorten and shrink particular parts of the vocal. Let's say you sang... A vocal that wasn't long enough you ran out of breath just a little bit before you wanted to and then you could go in here and stretch that out but that's for another video so just give you a little quick tip there but anyways what we want to do is select where it says flex time slicing go to the top and uh, select flex pitch after we've done that you'll see that the window changes and down here below now we've got what looks like a vocal kind of faded out in the background and then we've got these little regions that almost look like little MIDI regions. And what it's done is it's analyzed the audio, the vocal there, and then it has selected what key or what note it's closest to. So what we can do to check the pitch of this and to also help pitch correct it if you don't have auto-tune or if you don't want it to have a T-Pain type sound but you want it to be in the right key, what we can do is highlight everything by making sure we you know, select inside of this window here hit command a on the keyboard and now what we want to do is go down here to the bottom left where it says scale quantize right now it's actually turned off so what we want to do is come in here and I know this is a major and instead of it being C we are actually in a so if you'll if you look over here when I change it from C to a you'll notice the notes will move around okay and that's because you know the key of C and the key of a have similar notes but they also have different ones so what you can do is let's let's zoom into the section here in the beginning on the left side. If you see each uh, box has kind of a bold purple look and then there's like kind of a transparent line down below it. Well, that pretty much goes to show how close or, you know, how far away you are from being in tune. So if we want to like tune this thing perfectly, you can look to the left side here and let's say pitch correction. So let's click in here. Command A again to highlight all the notes and you'll notice as I start to drag this little fader to the right What's going to happen is it'll start moving these notes into a more perfect position for the key that we're in So we're going to start sliding over to the right sliding over to the right boom All right at 70% basically out of 100 you see that they've moved if I go back to zero you see they're back that way So right now the vocal doesn't sound that bad, but let's put it at 100 Okay, cool now what it's done is it's actually taken these vocals and instead of them being slightly out of tune or slightly out of the key, it's put all the vocals right where they need to go on each particular case. So it's, it's up to you depending on how close you really want it. Do you still want it to have some of that organic feel and say, hey, I'm a human, I'm not a robot. Then you can adjust the pitch correction anywhere from zero all the way up to 100. And uh, we'll get into some of these other settings on more advanced videos here too. But today I just want to go over a couple features and get you started. So what we can do, like I said, is pull this over. And now let's take a quick listen. Actually, let's listen to it before. So this is no pitch correction here at all. Blue skies, blue jeans. Baby, I love the way you look at me. Holding my hand, cruising 75. Okay, great. So that first part of the hook, you can see that some of the notes, like this one in particular right here, that if you click and hold on it, you can actually hear the part of the audio that you sang. 
And, you know, this one actually looks like it's in perfect pitch. This one and this one look like they're in perfect pitch. But uh, a few of them seem like they're a little bit further away from where they need to be. So let's go ahead and put the pitch correction over here all the way to 100. And let's play it again. Blue skies, blue jeans. Baby, I love the way you look at me. Holding my hand, cruising 75. All right, so I like it. I feel like it really kind of put it in the pocket, not of the rhythm, but it put it more in the pocket of the key of the song so that everything harmonizes to be, uh, together better. And, you know, it just has a, uh, still has a natural feel, but it, it, it's like I sang it even more perfect than I did. So there's um, a lot of tips and tricks that we can do to really finesse the vocals. And just to dive in to let you know a couple other parts, if you look at one of these regions, let's say this region right here. Now there's six little dots and each one, when you hover over it, it'll tell you what each dot does. They're actually like little tools inside of this particular tool. So the first one we hover over is called pitch drift. And what that does is the notes gonna drift from say one particular key to another particular key on the piano or in this case, your vocal. And if for whatever reason, it sounded kind of auto-tuned or T-pained or whatever, then you can adjust and play with the pitch drift and that will really help kind of smooth out and fine tune the transitions from this note to this note. All right, so let's move over to the right on top. Now we've got fine pitch. Well, fine pitch will basically allow you to move the vocal in between the notes. So right now we're kind of perfectly on these particular notes, but Sometimes that doesn't still sound the best, and what we want to do is fine tune it. So this little button right here, you just click and drag on it. Let's do it real quick. And so you see how it's moving the pitch, and it looks a little more similar. It looks more similar to how it did before we did any kind of pitch correction, right? So let's Command Z and undo that. Um, the the next one, pitch drift on the right. So you have one in the beginning and the end. And let's go back to the beginning real quick. So you see this white line that kind of curves down and then it looks like it disconnects and then it attaches itself to this other piece. Well, when I hit pitch and when I click and drag up or down on pitch drift, what it's going to do is you'll see it's it's actually moving the pitch of the beginnings of each one of these, right? And that's because I have them all highlighted right now. But for now, we're going to keep it on zero, you know, just going to show you. So you're going to have to play with it and just really use your ears because something that's in perfect pitch doesn't always feel the best, you know. But below these top three dots, you've got three more dots. This, sec uh, this first one in the front is your gain. So let's say you sang a part a little too loud. Well, you can click on that gain and you can turn it down. And if you notice in the background, the waveform actually shrunk. Let's undo that and watch. When I undo it, you'll see it get bigger. Boom. If it was a little bit too quiet, you can click and drag up and it'll actually make the waveforms bigger. So that's 12 decibels of gain right there. That's way too much. <laughs> but anyways, uh, moving on, we've got vibrato. Most of you probably know what vibrato is, but that is kind of the waviness that is in a vocal. Instead of it just sounding like one solid note that just never has any movement to it or whatever, it kind of gives it, you hear it a lot in gospel music especially but you can adjust the vibrato. If you had too much or too little, you can give it a little more, a little bit less. And finally, format shift. This is one that I'll go into a little more on uh, another video. Like I said, I'll go over some more of these settings and things, but you probably don't wanna fool with that one as much right now. But anyways, these, these settings and these particular tools that are in Logic are very, very powerful. They really help you to achieve that sound. You know, when we start a project, we've all got an idea and a vision in our mind, the way it should sound and the way that it should feel. And, you know, the more tools you have access to and the better you understand how to use them, the better you're going to be at an at a artist, at a producer, an engineer, uh, whatever it is, you know. So anyways, like I said, this was just a quick tip on flex pitch audio and logic. Again, I'm your boy, Brand America. And if you guys got some value out of this, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. If, if you learned something, tell, tell me what you learned, you know, or if you feel like I could go into more detail or you have other questions, 
drop them down there and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have more great videos coming soon. Again, I'm Brandon America. Until next time, peace and love. Sweet love and harmony got me singing these melodies to everyone off in the streets like you.